I know you were promised, Jane. Uh -oh. <laughs> and, um, I'm sorry. However, we do have a substitute. Um, she uh, is someone that I find personally a very uh, extraordinary and exceptional. Uh, Dr. Donna Paulson um, is taking Jane's place, and we are so incredibly pleased to have her. So please, can we give a Laurel and Hardy welcome Hardy. to Dr. Donna Paulson. <laughs> Distinguished colleagues, <laughs> I thank you for your kind attention to my scientific thesis on aging. As with many noted discoveries, mine began with a bit of serendipity, not unlike that of Sir Isaac Newton when an apple fell in his head, or, or Archimedes' famous eureka moment in his own tub. <laughs> My theory came to me in just such a sudden burst as I was watching uh, Battlefield Earth with my then teenage son, immobilized by the drivel before us. <laughs> my son suddenly sat up and noting Mr. Travolta shouted, that guy has a whole new head. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> For we none of us grow older. We simply get a new head. <laughs> <laughs> In early life, new head growth is very rapid. A child will have a new head from birth to one year once a month. <laughs> the same child will have a ch his, his uh, new head fr from one year to age 20. Um, you have empirical proof of this in your own purse or wallet. You purchase a picture of your child every year. Why purchase a new picture of your child every year? Because every year, your child gets a new head. <laughs> <laughs> but after age 20, new head growth deaccelerates. A lucky girl may have her 20-year-old head well into her 30s. <laughs> if she avoids alcohol, cigarettes, and personal tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> the same lucky girl may have her 30-year-old head well into her 40s if she avoids tanning beds. <laughs> <laughs> but as evidenced by the massive head growth of Mr. Tavolta, one day your head will indeed turn 50. <laughs> New heads suddenly re-accelerate when you least desire it to do so. New heads come in big, ugly chunks at this point. <laughs> so startling a change that your friends secretly stifle screams when they see you. <laughs> Lines, wrinkles, jowls, crevices, gray hairs all appear literally Overnight, <laughs> your ears and nose keeps growing and your head shrills in between. <laughs> and unfortunately, this is the head you'll be remembered by. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you hated your old head, you wish you had it back! <laughs> because if you keep going, you'll develop what I think of as the Larry King head. <laughs> this is the head you'll have in your coffin. Your friends slowly file by, <laughs> lean in, shake their heads slowly, and say, He looks good. <laughs> that would not be true. <laughs> and the worst part of all, as you develop one ghastly new head after another, you will be just as you are or were. 
age around 35 or so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please keep this in mind anytime you're dealing with anyone over the age of 45. And for the love of God, keep it at the top of your brain if you're dealing with an actual elderly person. <laughs> oh, you may think of her as some, some doddering old fool clogging up the checkout line with a, a coupon for expired coupon for Citricow. <laughs> she just got a new head. <laughs> and she has the same likes, desires, fears, joys that she always had. She's 35. You just can't see past her head. <laughs> Why has this important information gone undiscovered for so long? I have a theory about that. Certainly every elderly person realizes that they're a 35-year-old running around with an 80-year-old head. <laughs> Why haven't they mentioned it to anyone? <laughs> I have three possible answers. <laughs> Number one, they're old, and they know you're not interested in anything they have to say. <laughs> Number two, they're gracious. <laughs> and they don't want to ruin the wonderful time you have left with your beautiful young head. <laughs> and three, they're so shocked by what is happening to them, they can't uh. even talk about it. <laughs> no 35-year-old wants to eat dinner at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's just that when you no can longer see to drive at night, you have to get back and forth to Denny's before dark. <laughs> a 35-year-old wants to eat at Denny's in the first place. It's just when you're running around with an 80-year-old head, no one will take you seriously, so you can't hold down a job, so you have to stretch your Social Security check six ways to Sunday and take advantage of every single senior citizen discount. No 35-year-old in the world wants to sit in a chair and watch Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> it's just, that's all that's on that time of night. It's that or the news. And at my age, you know that there is no new news. Yes. It's just the same news recycling itself. Over, over, over again. And the next thing you know, you're spinning the wheel and buying a vowel. <laughs> Eureka! I've solved the puzzle. I think. <laughs>